Welcome to another four scam video guys. Today we're going to talk about the top five mods you can do to your truck. This is regardless if you have a Lariat or XLT or whatever your truck is. And then I'm going to give you an additional three that uh, depends on what type of features you have. All right, so let's get started. So number one, the first thing I did to my truck was the double honk. Remove the double honk. You ever leave your keys in the truck and then you walk away and it honks, beep, beep. Well, it doesn't do that anymore. You disable the double honk. I don't think we need that. Number one, right? Okay, so here's another force cam mod. Easy to do. Turn signal, okay? When you tap the turn signal, it does it gives you five blinkers just enough time for you to actually make a turn or turn or switch lanes one two three four five the stock comes with three which is not enough time for you to switch lanes number three global window open and close you don't have to get in the truck and open the windows you can actually open them with your remote so you can unlock twice just once twice and hold it down so one two hold it down about seven seconds and the window opens right you can also close the window this way just holding it down once holding it down and leaving it down again for about seven seconds when it opens i mean it goes back up right all right real quick feature you can also unlock Hold it down. If you don't want the window open all the way, remove it and push the lock button, right? It stops it right where you push the lock. And that works also whenever you're locking and going back up. Let's try it. You have to be quick though. You gotta be quicker than that. There, see? Pretty neat feature. Number four, Bambi mode, right? High beams turn on and low beams stay on. There's no need to turn the low beams off whenever the high beams are on. And fog lights also stay on. I fog lights just that they're blinking here. Okay? Everything stays on. It's called Bambi mode. Number five is auto stop start. It's a feature that's on the dash. My truck doesn't have this feature, uh, it's a V6 turbo, but on the V8s, it does have this extra feature on there to kind of save gas. I heard it's a good thing, you know, it doesn't mess up your starter, the starter is actually made to do this, but if you don't like it turning off and on, you can just permanently disable it instead of disabling it every time you get in the truck, right? So this is the 4scan mod and options you have for that. So that's going to be my number 5. Okay, so now if you have the power fold mirrors, you can also do what's called Lincoln style. Uh, I think most Lariats or King Ranch and Platinums have this. Um, but with Lincoln style, is every time you lock your truck, the mirrors close in. Okay, when you unlock it, Actually, you don't have to push the button. Just get close to it, right? It's a fob. You get in it. As soon as you get into the truck, the mirrors open up automatically. Okay, so another modification you can do is nav in motion. All right, this is only if you have navigation or the eight inch um, full navigation screen here. So while you're driving, you can also change the menu. Um, and even mess with settings. And even edit wallpaper. All while you're driving, so there's no driving limitations. And even text messages, if you want to review some text messages, you can review, it's not blocked for text 
for messages. See all these text messages are in here and you can view them. It doesn't blur out the view button whenever you're driving. Okay, so the last option here is engine temperature reading. You can actually add the temperature to your engine and transmission right above it. They ideally usually stay around 200, 205, maybe 210 if it's a really hot day, but that's both of these readings there. Okay, the mouse to empty is always there. I mean, this only works with the 8 inch uh, Lariat Plus screen. Okay, you can also add these. I've seen you people add them to XLTs or XLs. I think they're paying like around $500 to get them added and switch installed, and you can do that also. Well, that's it. Those are my top five recommendations for these updates. Also, I added those three additional ones depending on what features you have. If you have any other suggestions you think I should have added or included in the video, please leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some of these other videos I have. I do give pretty good detailed instructions on how to do these modifications yourself. Thanks, guys.